hello friends welcome to explore youtube channel today tutorial is about four functions which are very handy in speeding up our work by preparing maintaining and organizing data beautifully in excel spreadsheet so here the first function is custom list how we can prepare a custom list for our advantage then how we can define name list and use it for our advantage as well inserting cell without disturbing the other columns or rows because sometimes we add rows or columns it disturbs the data of other cells as well so we have to just cut and paste similarly we will be able to learn how to move shift information up and down right or left without any co copy cut or paste so let's start our tutorial from data sheet here I have prepared a simulative data over here it has six columns and each column has headings and underneath the data is being mentioned or we can add more data depending on the need so here first function we have to learn about is if we have to prepare the similar headings or similar data time and again what we generally do we do copy cut and paste or we shift the file from one worksheet to another or from one sheet to another but here if we add custom list it will be much more time saving and more effective in work efficiency as well so first we will select b column heading and the g column and then we go to file here we go to options and then go to advanced and come at the bottom you will see general and then click in edit custom list here you will find four lists already being presented for instance somebody has to write sunday and they just write three spell and just drag the down rest of the weekdays come by default because it been already added in custom list by default in excel sheet so if you click here in the source code right now where i'm pointing you can see the heading of column B to G is now highlighted so we click on import and then we click on add now that name has been added here in the custom list from list of entries we can do it manually over here by mentioning data here by typing it over here but we are just selecting the data right now so we click on ok and then click on ok so you will see now i'll go to practice sheet sheet and here i mentioned the first name of the first headings that is student's name now i'll you can see a plus button has come up which is autofill handle if i drag it to the right side you can see a pop-up of department has come then section then gender then martial status then remarks these pop-ups are my headings so i'll just select all and autofill the width of the column now second thing is we have to bring up the names over here so we will follow the similar process over here you can either select the heading until the last name but we will only select the first name and we will remember the first name is james walker so we go to file and then go to options and here then go to advanced come at the bottom in general click on edit custom list you can see the list is now highlighted if i click in source code click on import then click on add it will take only up to 255 characters but you have to just click on ok and click ok and click ok so the first name is james walker we come up over here and i just write james walker and I now drag down the autofill handle. You can see here the names are being presented right now in a moment in a blink of eye. Similarly, we can also make custom lists for departments and so on. So these custom lists are very handy when we have to prepare similar data time and again. So here now the next function over here is define name list now friends what we will do we will select this data copy it and paste it over here 
and I'll go to data then I click over here in remove duplicates because there are so many names which are being repetitive time and again depending on the student's name so I just click on remove duplicates and click on OK so the 17 duplicate names has been removed now what I'll do I'll select this and I'll go to formulas here I go to define name and here I have to give a name I just write DEP department and then click on OK now I have come back to practice sheet and here I'll select this sheet and then go to data in data validation go to data validation click on list and put over here equal to sign and the name we mentioned in the defined name in formulas we mention the name over here so the list will be taken automatically and click on OK so you can see here now the list has come up over here so friends this way we can easily add but what happens friends when some new department is being added like chemistry right now chemistry is not available over here so if I have to write chemistry here and I add it oh, it says no we can't add it because our restricted values cannot be added so what we will do over here we go back to our data we go back to formulas we go to name manager and here our list is being presented over here we click on our list and you can see here it is selected from J2 to J5 this is J2 until J5 so I just mentioned here one blank column that is J6 and click OK and close it and then I come back over here and right now I would like to add chemistry so you can see right now I am able to add my name if anything new come up otherwise you won't be able to add in data validation by manually it happens only because I have mentioned this blank column another method over here is select this whole range and then I click on table and now my table has had a yes my table has had a department and I click on OK so what happens friends now I'll again oh, it's already selected I go to formulas then I go to define name this time I'll just give it name as part and click on OK so I'll come back to practice and this time we will be using the new sections which is section E and I go to data validation here then in data validation I choose list and here I have to mention equal to and depart the name which is mentioned in defined name so I click on OK so friends here you will start adding your name like you can see here but still I am not able to add chemistry over here you can see here if I go back to data and if I add chemistry over here and click OK you will see that table has automatically taken up the value and I come back over here in section E and if I click on here drop down list you can see chemistry is being added moving forward to a third step function is how to insert cell without disturbing other columns or rows autofill effectively so we come back over here to a data for instance I am in data sheet and I would like to add a name above Lewis here in B9 generally what we do we go to insert and then we add entire row but friends I do not want to make or add a row over here so I'll do Control Z and I again click over here go to insert and this time I click on shift cells down 
it means a new cell is being added over here underneath kiss turn but above lois so here i'll add my data of any name because this department and section is belong to andy and that's why the rest of the data is being shifted to next row so this way you can add insert cell in case you wanted to add two cells over here you have to select the data then click on shift cells down so two cells have been added and you do not have to worry about because you can see here if i edit these two cells my j cell is not being effective it's irrespective of adding any two cells it will not affect my data over here in j column so that's the best way you can add more data without affecting the other data and the last one is how to move shift information up or down right or left without copy cut or paste generally when we have to mention this data we used to cut it and paste it on another row then we cut this data and then put it over here and then again we go back over here and you can see it has taken me around my 15 to 30 seconds depending on my speed but here we will do control z and we will follow a simple way which means if i have to select this data then you can see here if i go at the bottom or at the top a four sign has come up so i just drag it over here i'll select this data and now you can see sign has come up and i drag it it here then i come back it here and then drag it here so this way it takes only around 5 to 10 seconds and i have saved my lot of time and this helps me to put right information at right place in right area so friends these four functions in excel has been very supportive and able to speed up our work as well as save a lot of time energy and helping our skills to be get more sharpen i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe explore youtube channel so i can bring up more videos for you more tutorials on excel word digital marketing and so on thanks for watching explore video thank you friends